a cousin of mine was standing at a bus stop. It was just populated by kids waiting for a school bus. A Hamas suicide bomber detonated a, a suicide bomb and killed my, my cousin and, and a friend of his. The overwhelming emotion that I had was to stand in his stead. I just had this, this, this visceral, this emotional, intense feeling of, of moving with my family to Israel to continue a life that was snuffed and to fight terrorism and to fight uh, negativity with some sense of hope and some sense of optimism. And when I shared the idea with others, I heard from many people that we also want to move to Israel, but but the bureaucracy is supposed to be nightmarish, but we don't have the funding to make the move. And I said, this is ridiculous. You know that I want to move to Israel, but there are thousands of others who want to go, and we should just do something. We should start something. We should create something to, to remove all these obstacles, to create this whole wave of individuals who want to move to Israel. So we started and founded Nefesh Benefesh. Since founding the organization, we brought over 18,000 people. It's a lifelong dream. <laughs> We've been thinking about this for at least 10 years. It's where I belong, it's where I want to be. We've brought over 1,000 soldiers who are fighting in combat. I had a friend who passed away who died in Lebanon and I needed to take his spot. Uh, so I wanted to serve the army and serve Israel in the best way I knew I could and that's why I'm here today. We have over 12,000 people who are actively in the pipeline needing and seeking facilitation of their aliyah. You walk through the aisles of the plane and you see an 85-year-old with a number from Auschwitz sitting next to an 8-year-old making Aliyah, sharing that dream. You'll have a kid coming off the plane fulfilling a dream that his grandparent or great-grandparent could never have imagined. You have 30 soldiers coming off a plane and they're going straight to defend this country. You have doctors coming off the plane and they're going to save and to heal and to treat. You have teachers coming off the plane and they're coming to educate. Israel needs new blood creativity, entrepreneurship, idealism, Zionism, demography, helping with, with education, with medicine. What is the key solution for all these issues? And that's Aliyah, and that's moving to Israel, bringing individuals from the diaspora, individuals who are not running from something, but running to something, and coming to Israel. Israel.